Hey everybody and welcome to Our Green Acres. Today I'm going to show y'all how I upcycle and make over some items that I got at the thrift store and some of these items I've already had. But I'm going to give them a refresh and we're going to fix them up and put them out for spring and some of these we can use into summertime. These little rain boots right here, I got these, I think, at Big Lots a few years ago. They were turquoise blue. I've painted them white. Now I have sprayed them and gave them a fresh color of Sand Dollar. This is by rust -Oleum and it's a beautiful neutral color. Now I'm going to take this really pretty transfer. I have been saving this. I actually love these set, this set of transfers so much. I got two of these. So this one right here, I've been saving it for just the right project. It is absolutely beautiful. So I thought these little rain boots, this would fit perfect on these. Just put these across the front just to give them a little bit of some, you know, kind of French country detail. So I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to apply this transfer on these little rain boots. We'll add some florals. You could also add some greenery in these little rain boot planters like this. But this is all I'm going to do to this. Now this is ready to set out now for spring and summertime. The next item that I'm going to do a makeover on is going to be this galvanized metal. Um, this is more like a planner. You can also call this like a wall pocket. But this is a great receptacle that you can put florals and greenery in. And you can use these for all the seasons. But I'm just going to give it a quick coat. I'm going to give it a couple layers of some Rust-Oleum flat white um, paint. And then once that dries, I'm going to bring it in and we're just going to add a little bit more detail to this and just give it a little bit more of an embellishment. Just to take something that is like galvanized metal, if you want to just, you know, spruce it up a little bit, put your own little special touch on touch on it, I'm going to show you how we can do it. And it's so easy. Just take things that you may have on hand, whatever is in your supplies. I, I love to use molds and air dry clay. So I'm just going to take some air dry clay and I always store my clay in an airtight bag and also always put a wet wipe in with it. That will keep it moist, but make sure to always squeeze the air out of your bag before you seal it up so it doesn't dry out. This is a beautiful mold right here and this is out of the spring new release for 2024 from, from IOD. I'll have a link to it down below, but I love this one and I thought it would be beautiful to go over the little plaque that's already on this little floral cone. The one that was on it had, I think, a little shovel and a little spade on it, but this right here will give it just a little bit more detail. So I'm just going to apply it using some wood glue. Once I got my little clay mold plaque applied, now I'm going to go over it and give it a coat of DIY liquid patina just to seal it really good. I went back and forth of what I wanted to put in the center of the plaque if I just wanted to leave it plain. I even thought about, you know, putting a transfer in that little plaque. But I'm gonna do something else in just a minute. But now I'm gonna put a transfer on it and this one has, you know, some stuff about garden and seeds on it. So I think this will be great for spring and summer. So I'm just gonna apply this transfer on the front and it's gonna, you know, go, I just kind of centered it up with my plaque in the center of the little floral cone and that gives that little detail to it. Now, a lot of times when you use air dry clay, you'll get some cracking and I got some cracking in my little plaque. 
So to camouflage some of the cracks, I'm going to use some little decoupage roses. And I will try to link, um, I will link the website where I get a lot of my decoupage paper down below. But this came on a sheet of decoupage paper and it had a lot of these little random little pink roses. They're absolutely beautiful. So I just took one of them, I cut it out, and then I just applied it to the center of the little clay plaque. And I just used DIY Liquid Patina. I got it on and I went over it and then I went over the whole plaque and did a little bit of white linen chalk paint and painted over my plaque around my rose. Now I'm taking some wired ribbon. I don't really like wired ribbon. I really like ribbon that, you know, is just kind of more, it's, it's more floppy to me, but you use whatever ribbon you want. But a lot of times I will just snip that wire and pull that wire off each side of my ribbon and that way you get a really good frayed look. So I just tied a bow at the top, made a hanger for my for my little planner and now I've added some florals and look how beautiful this is to set out for spring. Now I'm gonna upcycle something else that I've had. And I put a stencil on the front of this little thrifted box that I paid $2.99 for it. And it, it was great to set out for Easter. But now I've got another side to my, my project piece. And that's what I tell y'all a lot of times, utilize both sides of your decor pieces if you can. And that's what I did. I just flipped it around and I'd already painted it white and distressed it. Now I'm taking one of the IOD Spring 2024 transfers and this come out of the book it's called lover of flowers and it's got some beautiful transfers and it's got some beautiful um, quotes in it so i absolutely love this transfer book so i just applied a set of these little florals to the front of this and that is all i'm going to do now this is ready to set out for spring just add your favorite florals or your greenery Another project piece that I found was this pallet wood piece and I have upcycled it before but I have sanded off what I had on it. I think I had stenciled it so I sanded that off. Now I'm going to take this beautiful transfer and I'm not even going to try to pronounce it so I'm going to put it up on the screen. This is another beautiful spring uh, transfer release from IOD. I've been dying to use this. Now you get a whole book of these really pretty graphics. So you can use this transfer book on a large piece like a piece of furniture or you can do you know several small type projects with it. These sheets are very easy to use because they have grid lines so it makes it really easy to line up your designs as you apply them because you will probably want to apply these in sections. And the first thing I did was I just found the center of my palette wood piece and then I went from there. I applied that one sheet down, I got it applied, and now I'm gonna use the grid marks and I'm gonna line up the second sheet of this design. And I'm really going by that little round piece down there at the bottom that's got that wording on it. I'm kind of using that as my guide. I'm getting that lined up really well and then the rest of it will automatically line up too. So I'm just going to go through, get it applied, and then I'm going to take this sheet and I'm going to burnish it down. This just assures that your transfer is applied in all the areas. Now I cut my side too short when I 
cut my transfer sheet. So I'm going to take my grid lines again and I'm going to measure off and I'm going to go in and cut off another strip of that design and I'm going to hook it on to the side of this one. And that's the great part about transfers. You can always piece them together if you need to. And like I say, these grid lines on these transfer sheets are lifesavers because all you have to do is just line up your design, you know, and apply more if you need to. I absolutely love this design and I love the way this is coming out so far. The colors in this are absolutely beautiful. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do the same on this side. I want it to go all the way to the end of my piece. I just laid the sheet down, I measured, and again, using those little grid lines, I knew exactly where to cut. I cut my piece, now I'm going to apply it. And then once I got it applied, now this, this design will be done. I do have a spot over on the other end that I didn't like the spot in the wood of how the wood looked after it was painted in distress. So that is another lovely thing about transfers, and that's what I want to encourage you Cut your transfers up. If you have a spot on your project piece that you may not like or your eyes just drawn to that and you just can't, you know, you're just not loving it, cut out something else and put in that, that spot and kind of camouflage it. So I took a butterfly. I put that butterfly in that spot that was bugging me and I applied it. And there is some butterflies in this design. So I think it just, you know, it looks like it is made into this piece now. I love this piece. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And again, these colors in this are absolutely gorgeous for spring and summertime. I'm taking my little finger sander. I have this little sander linked in my Amazon store, but this is a great tool to have. I'm just going around the edges. I'm just kind of smoothing them out and making sure that transfer that went over the side, I've just got it smoothed down really good. And now here it is. Tick tock, the clock is ticking. Don't know what I should do and I wish you would be right here with me My mind is filled with pictures of when we used to dance but now I don't know where you are I miss you so bad won't you come back to me I've got you in my head you're all that I see I've lost all my chances I know that I am too late I'm going to show you how we can take another sheet out of that same transfer book and we can really add some detail to this old wooden box. I got this at Goodwill and I can't remember how much I paid for it. I think $8.99, but you can see it has some kind of like little leather suede, like little detail on the front. Well, I'm just going to turn that to the back so we don't have to, you know, lose its character. I'm not going to paint this piece. I'm just going to leave it just like it is. But I want to show you how vivid and beautiful these colors of these graphics are on something that is dark wood. So if you want to leave something dark wood and not paint it, these beautiful transfers right here just really go on this brown wood, this dark wood, and it just really pops. But it gives this little old box just a little bit more detail. And to me, it makes it scream spring and summer. Again, I'm just taking my little finger sander and I'm just lightly going around all the edges of this little box. And I'm just kind of scuffing up the little edges, just kind of going around and making that transfer look like it is worn into that box. Now, once this piece is done, there is so many things you can add to this box to decorate with it. You can add some filler balls. You can add old vintage books. You know, of course, florals and greenery. So this box is a really fun one to do. And if you get these transfers, be on the lookout at the thrift stores and yard sales for these old boxes or crates. Take them home, add some transfers to them, and just give them a new life. I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you, wondering if you're thinking about me too, now it's too late, now it's too late, I'm out of time, but I'm still thinking of you. My heart keeps on bleeding, I have scars, but won't stop healing another fun project and this is using a little piece that I took off a piece of um I don't know it was a little piece of wall decor I removed it and I used the other part of it on another project but I had this piece in my supplies of course I had saved it I love little urns 
Now this footage right here I'm leaving in because I went back and forth on using dark wax. I painted it with the color Drop Cloth by Dixie Belle. It's kind of a creamy color. And then I went over it with some dark wax. Now I don't know if y'all are a fan of dark wax or if you're good at using it, but I am not. Sometimes I do like it, but sometimes I just I just don't like that dirty effect I feel like it gives. So comment below if you like to use dark wax or you just rather leave something painted and real clean looking. In this case, I went back over it with some white linen chalk paint. I cleaned it up. I just I just felt like it looked to me a little cleaner and a more more springy being you know white. So now I'm giving you several options. Take your transfers and get some florals if you have some, because I think florals would go really good as the background for this little, you know, this little urn. So I just kind of got some that I had, kind of placed them on my little piece of scrap palette wood that I'm going to put this on. And I decided to go with these beautiful, this lavender bouquet. I think these are linked in my Amazon store, so I will definitely have a link to my store down below. And I do have a category that is mainly for transfers. There's a lot of the transfers to select from, so make sure to go out and check it out if you need some. So now I'm just placing the little lavender bouquet transfer on the little palette wood in the area that I want it, just to make it look like it is coming up out of this little urn. This little fun project right here turned out so cute. And I, I'm glad I went with the lavender because I don't know if y'all are like me, but I love lavender in the springtime. So I think I've got it positioned, I've got it applied, and now I'm going to apply some hot glue to my little urn, and I'm just going to glue my little urn down on my wood. And that is all we'll do to this little project. I am going to add some little sprigs of some dried uh, baby's breath that I had on hand, and I tied a little hanger in the top. I paired it with another little lavender project piece that I've made in a previous video, just to show you how you can take some scrap wood, some little inexpensive transfers, and make a beautiful vignette for spring and summertime. There because of you. It's my fault. I messed it up. Okay, y'all, we are at the end of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing all these transformations. I didn't plan this video this way, but I did have a lot of new spring product from IOD, and I do want to bring it along to y'all, and I want to use it because it's some beautiful things that really make some great project pieces. Make sure to leave me a comment below. Leave me your favorite Bible verse. Y'all help me pick the verse each week, and I will be glad to give y'all the credit because I love sharing the Bible verses with y'all, and I know y'all have enjoyed it too. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to check me out over on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram. Until the next video, I hope all of y'all have a great and blessed week, and I will see y'all again soon. Bye, y'all.